the hell's going to happen now? Because <laughs> things are completely shook up. We don't know where it's going to start. Can you? I know you can't get any major spoilers, but can you give us an idea of where we find Oliver when we start and where things are going to head, at least for like the first episode? Or yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, as you know, when we left last season, it was the team was split up. He had killed Jamie Dark, and so he was off the board, and he was stepping into becoming the mayor. He is going to still be in the mayor's office. Um, but the city is going to be in a slightly different state. It's not going to be, we're not going to have any sort of terrorist attacks or anything happening um, this season. But as a result of what happened with Damien Dark and the kind of general decline of Star City, we're going to have a lot of criminals. There's going to be a huge um, kind of mob element. And we're kind of, and this is all part of the spirit of going back to the basics of kind of like an, a little bit answering to season one. So it'll be more kind of villains of the week, more kind of hand in hand, a little bit a little, going back to like gritty kind of crime of the week type of things. And all of will be a big part of that. We're also going to have a lot of vigilantes who are inexperienced and inspired by the Green Arrow who's killing Damien Dark, and they're going to be popping up all over the city, and that's actually going to become more of a problem than a help. Yeah. So will the episodes be more standalone? There will be more standalone episodes this season, um, and I think that we'll be we are looking to kind of go into the deeper into the bench of villains for from the DC from the DC universe and make it again make it uh, go back to our roots in the way that we had like more season one I think the most common question today in all the DC press rooms has been how is your show going to be affected by flashpoints this is a good question yeah. um, we had that question when we found out about flashpoint we're like oh hey <laughs> how's that going to work guys fascinating um, you know we obviously we live in this universe now where we have things like that happening, we have superpowers, we have metas. Here's your question, so sorry. Um, okay, uh, sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, where was I? Oh yeah, Flashpoint. You know, it will have an effect on the show, that's about as much as I can say. It, it, it won't be, I'm not going to comment too much on what it will be or how it will be affected, but the characters that are affected, will you, they will feel it. So you obviously have people who are both staunchly allicity and staunchly against allicity. Oh yes, we do. How do you deal? With, <laughs> in your, you know, going forward for the season, how do you kind of deal with that tension and what you want to do with these characters? Well, I think what's interesting about allicity is it's become this big, as everyone knows, this huge thing online, and everyone has taken sides. But for us, it was really a byproduct. If you cast someone like Emily Bett Records, and there is obviously chemistry, and you start to write to that. And it really felt in season three and four that if we didn't go in that direction, it was going to do a disservice to the show and to the characters. So we leaned into it, we went that way, we saw what it can do, and I think in season five we're going to do the same thing, which is we left them ambiguous at the end of the season, and I will say you will get some clarity in episode five of season five, but even then we're going to be... We, we are going to be exploring it, in, and actually in real time, just to see where we feel like the characters are taking us, and where we feel like the best stories are going to be told. Before Laurel died, she asked Oliver to save her. Is that something that's going to be revisited in this next season? Can you tell anything about it? I can only tell you that you'll find out about it in 501, in the premiere. Yep. So Oliver, as the mayor, is going to be a really public figure at this point. How is that going to affect his vigilantism? Well, we really want to, I mean, one of the things that I'm most excited about is that element, which is, in the past, we've had him be a CEO, we've seen him have somewhat of a public face, but this is a public face that he, you know, for lack of a better term, he can't be us. He's the mayor. He has to show up. But when people don't know he's there, they, or when he's not there, people know he's not there. So we're really, I mean, we're going to drive story both in the mayor's office and in the bunker, and it's actually a real challenge from a storytelling perspective because you have to kind of figure out well, where is his real emotional kind of drive coming from and but it'll be fun we'll have a lot of fun with kind of him you know the the sort of superman element of him having a dual identity one that's very very public